Hi everybody and welcome to the Army Showcase. Today we're going to have a look at this Army DBA 3 slash 3 40 D Ledang 1071 AD to 1280 AD. This army is basically the Ledang. Uh, the Ledang to oversimplify who they were were levied coastal fleets. All free Norsemen were obliged to join. This force was used for defense, for plundering, and as a reserve force. List D is pretty much the Nordic army after the Viking Age and after the defeat at the Battle of Stamford Bridge. At this point of Nordic history, there was a large period of peace and this is reflected on the army's aggression rating of 1. However, it was during this time that Hakon Hakonsen subjugated Greenland and Iceland to Norwegian rule. In this army, you get to pick one knight general, seven blades, two either three bow or siloy, one tree knight or four blade, one tree blade or siloy or seven horde. Esau chose his army because of variety. He actually wanted to do King Knut's Viking list, which is basically list 40B, but he said it looked monotonous. And I don't blame him because there are 14 elements of four blades. So he settled on getting the Viking list with the most variety in units. These miniatures are from the Essex miniature line and can be bought as either 2.2 or 3.0 DBA army packs. While in a previous video, the middle Anglo-Saxon one, we had an army with 8 spear elements. This army comes with 7 blade elements. Had trouble trying to decide on which blade element base to use for this video and made a decision to feature all of them. I like the variation in shield designs and the brave user color. Having painted 8 bases of shields myself, I can imagine the slight grind on these. The variety of the armor for these blades is a plus as these come from the Essex Miniatures line. From the very lightly armored to the chainmail, helmet and shield type. It definitely helps that there are so many different poses in this army that makes each base feel unique. Most of the shields are hand painted, exception being one element of Huskals, whose shield designs were made from self-printed decals, modified from a design found on the web. SL figured the Huskals represented the warrior's household troops and should have similar shields. Apparently the seven horde element was completed much later than the others because somewhere along the way he lost interest and, and already started painting another army. To play this army according to SL, this army needs good going to be effective. They can take on most other elements without problems. Because slow can be outmaneuvered by cavalry heavy armies, 3 slash 40 D is better rounded. This particular army list is better rounded because he has some knights to protect the flanks and bow to help the blades fend off mounted troops. But there aren't that many bad going troops on the list, so they might be in a bit of trouble if the opponent lays down a lot of bad going terrain. For basing, SL chose a bright flock which not only brightens the army but also implies a more stable community that the force is based on. Personally, I like the way this army looks. This army is very, very nice, very detailed, it's very neat. I like SL style, like I said, it's very, very neat. In fact, when I asked, most of the black lining was done with a brush and not a pen. He says he found out that when you use a marker or a pen to the black lining, it, it fades over time. So yeah, I guess, I guess that's a good tip. When I asked him why he painted his army, he said it was because he had just watched Vinland Saga. I really hope you like the army showcases that we are slowly putting together. We've done quite a lot of these armies and I'd like to thank everybody who helped encourage us by liking and subscribing. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one.